All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this one. Whew. Pink fish. Forgot to say in the video, but 3,000 likes, I will do another color. Also comment down below if you guys want me to do a saltwater version or another mini pond or a tank. It's up to you guys, you guys decide. So 3,000 likes, I'll do another color. Comment below the color and all that stuff. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. I know I'm on my phone right now so the quality is just gonna be a little eh until we get to the fish room or at least that we leave Walmart. But I'm back at this Walmart, the Walmart that I saved the last fish from. Um, I wasn't able to save all of them but I am going back today and I am going to try and get a few more fish. Not only we're gonna get fish but we're gonna try and do like some sort of one color only mini pool pond. So I figured I'd step it up a little bit. We've already done the blue only tank. It was in a little pet carrier. We did an orange only tank and a five gallon. So now we're gonna step it up a little and go ahead and do a one color only tank but instead it's gonna be a mini pool pond but let's go in right now and try and see if we can find the stuff for the mini pond also if they have fish by the way i'm using my phone because when i went to walmart a couple days ago and recorded getting fish i got asked at checkout if i was recording the fish or taking pictures of the fish whatever so i don't want to get caught because this isn't my normal walmart so i want to get the footage for you guys so we're going to use the phone let's go into walmart right now we're on clearance right because they're dying and uh, the fish are dying, but theirs aren't on clearance. I see it. They have a pink one. So I guess we're going to go with the pink one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this one. All right, so this is the last of the fish that are here. I'm just going to show you guys them real, real quick. But there aren't many, and I don't know for sure. These guys are $8. And I don't really support the whole glowfish thing because they put dye in them. But if it means saving them, then, you know. But these guys are all yellow. Well, that's kind of cool. They're yellow and blue. There's only one peacock stick left, so either one of them died or they bought one. Then there are some of these which are kind of pink, these mixed fruit tetras, so we might get these. And I already have five white skirt tetras, so if these are all set after quarantine, then we can put them in there as well. Alright, so we'll go back to the fish in a section in a second to figure out what we want. But now we gotta figure out the plants and stuff, which as you guys know. Last tank I went like a little overboard, but this thing is pretty big here, so we are gonna need quite a few things. Looks like they only have one of these which is unfortunate because it's a nice, small, cheap plant, but well, they got this too, this is pink. Looks like someone opened it, but this will work. It does have yellow and orange, but that's fine, it's still pink. Oh, yep, and they got one of these. Even though it's $10, I think we'll go ahead and get this as like our centerpiece. I think that'll look nice. It is a little taller than the actual pond, but I think it'll be nice, it'll float on top of the water. So we got that as well. They got one. They have one. Oh, they have two. We're gonna get both then. And two. Patrick by any chance? No, these are all SpongeBob. I was hoping they had Patrick. Okay, so this is all of the pink stuff in the pink mini pond. So let's check out the fish. They do have two pink ones in here. Is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask if they are marked down. Now they should be. Okay, all the other ones are marked down, so I'll ask. I'm gonna try and get them to mark them down. If not, then I'm gonna try and get two of these. That, that one in the back kind of looks like it has a pink tint to it. And maybe this one is kind of orange though. But it's more about saving the fish than getting pink fish. So these are the last of the fish, and I do want to save the, all of them, but they're not marked down, and that'd be a lot of money. It would easily be over $100 to save all these fish that I unfortunately just don't have right now. Oh my god, you guys. Okay. Whew. It is really, really hot. I just started the car and I'm trying to get the air going, but I got to record and everything because I got to hurry up. But everything for the pink mini pond is right back there. And not only that, but there are a few more pink fish that I was able to get because when I went to check out, they were 50% off. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go get more of them because, you know, they're just going to die more than likely. So I went back. I got the other two pink glow fish. I got some, uh, you know, I got a bunch of fish. So stay tuned for that video probably tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but two days from now. I upload every other day. So stay tuned for that video where I saved even more fish. So now in total, I've saved 14 fish from Walmart, um, which is... A really good thing but also i mean it's a little costly but at least these fish were all half off which is great so stay tuned for that video in a few days but now let's go ahead back to the fish room so we can set up this pink only mini pond um i'm not wearing a pink shirt for this video it's pretty disappointing but um i'm in a rush today all right after making a huge mess in the car it's all wet and everything the fish are in there they're good so let's go ahead to the fish room All right guys, so it is the next day and I ended up saving in total nine fish from Walmart. So you guys can stay tuned for that video in two days since I upload every other day. So Thursday, you guys will see a second video of me saving even more fish from Walmart. This time I bought nine of them. Because I transported them in like a tub and like 
you guys will see the video tomorrow, but I didn't want to stress them out too much because obviously they're already stressed from being in that terrible water and they were stressed because they were transported in tap water. I didn't realize it till after. So yeah, I just wanted to let them sit for a day, like not even a day, like a little less than a day, just kind of chill, relax. And um, now we have all of this pink stuff to go ahead, spread out throughout this mini pond and really put together. And the reason that I didn't use a pink gravel is just because of the fact that first of all, it would have taken a lot of money to fill that thing up with pink gravel. But maybe if I do another, another one of these in a mini pond, I will do gravel, but I figured it kind of be cool because like the bottom of it is pink, the whole thing of it is pink. Figured we'd pass on the gravel just for this one. So now obviously what we gotta do is go ahead and rinse all of this stuff, show you guys everything that we have, and then start laying it out everywhere. And then obviously after that we gotta fill it up and put the fish in it and everything, but first we gotta go ahead and rinse this stuff out and start to put it in here. there. <laughs> All right, now I got everything out of the packages, all the stickers off for the most part. I gotta take, scrub it off a little bit more, but everything is off and all set. So now we gotta go ahead and rinse everything. Cause anything you put into your aquarium, guys, you gotta rinse. Also, I got a few comments last time I did one of these videos. I just wanna make it very clear that these are not long-term living situations for fish. I am putting these fish in here to show you guys what, like to put the pink fish into the mini pond and they'll be in here for just a little bit of time. They're not staying in here forever. Fish do require a certain temperature of water, certain water parameters, a filter, a heater, stuff like that. This is not suitable for fish to actually live in long term. So let's go ahead and rinse these things. All right, everything is rinsed. Roll the time lapse. All right, so now the pink only mini pool pond. I think the decorations are how I want them. And if they're not, what I'm gonna do is just kind of like move around after I fill it up. But now it is gonna, now it is time to fill it up. So let's go ahead and fill this thing up. I'm kind of nervous, I'm kind of excited. Uh, I think once it's filled up, it's gonna look even better. But I am kind of liking this layout with all the decorations and stuff. So let's go ahead and fill this thing up, shall we? Yeah, we shall. Shall, should, yeah, we should. I, I don't know what it is, let's go. All right, so right here we have our pink fish and they're now acclimating to the water parameters and the temperature and everything to do with that water in here. So it's half their water, half the water from the mini pond. I'll add a little bit more from the mini pond like every couple minutes and uh, we'll get these guys fully acclimated to the mini pond so we can put them in and get our pink fish in our all pink mini pond. It is now time to get our pink fish in our pink only mini pool pond. So let's do it. All right, here go our Pink fish.
right, well, that is the uh, pink only mini pond, and I really wish I wore a pink shirt for this one, but I don't have a pink shirt, and I just I just did wear one. <laughs> yeah, they're just chilling. One of them is over there. They kind of look orange in here, but they're pink. And then there's another one over there hiding behind those plants over there. I do kind of wish that I got gravel. I do kind of wish that I got more things for this, but um, a mini pond is a little harder, obviously. I wasn't sure how many things I would need. Um, so if I do another mini pond, if you guys want me to do another mini pond, I will get more stuff in gravel and stuff. The last one I said 2,000, you guys absolutely blew it out of the water. I think it's over 5,000 likes. So 3,000 likes, I will do another one color. And also comment down below if you guys want me to do a saltwater version of it, because I am going to the beach for like almost a week. Yeah, also go ahead and comment down some names for these two fish. I'm thinking maybe Patrick for one of them, like Patrick Star. But I do want to name these guys because I did rescue them and all my rescue fish I'm trying to name now. But yeah, like I said, stay tuned for the video on Thursday where I show you guys all the other fish that I saved. So yes, thank you for all your support guys. I cannot thank you guys all enough. Like honestly, I have some really, really big things coming up and I cannot thank you guys enough. I can't even say I'm on camera yet, but some really big things coming up on the way, um, at least to me anyway. So I'll be excited to share those with you guys. Make sure you guys stay tuned on my community tab because I do post on there quite frequently, pretty much every day or multiple times a day. Also follow my Instagram at planet.fishness. I never shout that thing out. I've shouted it out like twice. And um, I think I'll be posting on there starting next week. So definitely on my story on there for sure. You guys will see more behind the scenes stuff. And also on my main feed, I should be posting next week. But other than that, Make sure you guys turn on post notifications, hit that subscribe button, comment down below 3,000 likes for the next color, and also comment down below what color you guys want. I forgot to say that. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.